After long but victorious three-week road trip, the 4-0 Bloomsburg University Huskies return to Redmond Stadium to take on CW Post. The chilly fall season was definitely upon us on Saturday, but Husky football was red hot. Bloomsburg got on the scoreboard early in the first quarter with a 20-yard pass from senior quarterback Dan Latour to Corey Steiger. Freshman Jared Shannon acquired the extra point for the Huskies, putting them up front 7-0. CW Post Pioneers would answer quickly with an 80-yard drive and a 17-yard toss from quarterback Eric Anderkavich to receiver Chris Harris. With the game not up at 7, Derek Price found a hole on the CW Post 1-yard line to help put up the Huskies 14-7. Despite the trickery employed by CW Post's offensive line, the Huskies' defense could not be stifled for the remainder of the first half. The Huskies came up big on nearly every third down conversion, and sophomore Vince Browning picked up an interception late in the first half. Not content with just a seven point lead, the Huskies came out of halftime looking for more points, and they found them quickly, once again with the help of Derek Price's 33 yard touchdown run through the middle of the Pioneers' defensive line. CW Post, however, was not willing to go quietly as they picked up another touchdown from Eric Anderkavich's 15-yard pass to Chris Harris with three minutes left in the game. Every time an opponent scores, Rungo dies a little bit inside. At 21-14, the Huskies looked to put the nail in the coffin, and who better to hammer it home than Derek Price, who ran for his third touchdown of the day to put the Huskies up 28-14 with a minute and a half left in the game. The Huskies finished off CW Post with a 14-point advantage. Senior Anthony Smith led the Huskies defense with 19 stops, a sack, and a forced fumble. Mike Varnavage made 11 tackles, and Oscar Rivera kept CW Post in check with 9 tackles and plenty of pass protection. The Huskies, now 5-0 overall and 2-0 in the PSAC, will be back in action on Saturday, October 3rd at 5 p.m. when they take on Millersville.